Hey, it's Martin. We're in the studio today with five tips for shaping great pizza. Mic drop. <laughs> All right. You're enough, so hip. Enough dropping. I'm so wicked hip. Over 50. So the first tip, slow is smooth. What I mean by that is it's best if the doughs really relax well. So I divided the dough and now I'm letting it relax for 45 to 60 minutes or longer if it feels like it needs it. To me, slow is smooth is a little bit about planning. So start a dough when you don't want it. And by the time you come around to thinking, mm, I'm ready for pizza, it'll be ready, right? So last night I mixed this dough. Today I divided it. I'm gonna give it 45 or 60 minutes to relax and then it'll be ready to shape. Don't push it. Slow is smooth. Be patient. Okay, tip number two. I've got my piece of dough. It's relaxed a little bit. And basically what I mean by press don't pull is that we're not gonna start stretching first. First, we're gonna press. And so starting on the inside of the dough piece, I'm just gonna start pressing and making sure that I'm not stuck and I'm pressing. I'm avoiding the edge. So if the dough is well relaxed, the pressing will be enough to get it most of the way into shape. And I'm not pressing with fingers like this, like I'm playing the piano or something. I'm using my hands kind of as paddles, which is a good tip for shaping bread of all types. Once it gets to that point, then I can do a little bit of stretching. But step one, get most of your shaping done by pressing, not pulling. Tip number three, flour matters. Today I'm using our double zero flour, which is a combination of soft wheat, which makes the dough easily stretched, and hard winter wheat, which gives a nice puffy edge crust. So it has tenderness and it has strength. Step number four, stick to the bench. What I mean by that is you don't need to try and throw it. I'm just gently tugging and setting it down. Often, even a portion of the dough never even leaves the work surface. Gently working my way around, just barely applying any pressure to stretch. Remember, this double zero flour is a combination of hard winter wheat, which has strength, and soft wheat, which stretches more easily. It's softer, it's more extensible, as we say in baking terms. Winter wheat is wheat which is planted in October and then harvested in late spring, early summer. So it overwinters, it has like a dormancy period. And winter wheat has sort of historically been used to make, like a lot of our artisan breads are made with winter wheat. You want another pizza? Yeah? Okay, good. Good answer, good answer. Okay. That's gonna be pretty good. Thank you. Well, yeah, let's let that wait a little bit. Let's wait till your mouth grows back. Before we, before we put another piece in there. Tip number five is flip and flour. You've seen me do this in most of the other steps. And basically what I mean by that is as I'm working, I wanna make sure that I have a well-floured surface and that I turn the dough as I'm working it. And so let me just show you. So first, Press out to the edge, leave that edge crust alone, mostly pressing into place. I'm leaving it on the bench, and as I'm working it, you'll see me flip it over, make sure that I'm well floured, put it back. It's okay to do that. By doing that, I make sure that the dough is floating on the bench, that I don't have any wet spots which are sticking. Because if I have any wet spots, not only is it gonna to stick to the bench, it's gonna to stick to the peel when I go to load. So I'm making sure that the piece of dough is well dusted and that my bench has good flour on it. So, flip and flour. If you need some more flour, you can move it in from a part of the bench that has some, or if you need to go back to your sort of bench flour and get some more, that's fine too. And as I move, now we're to that step where I'm just stretching it just a little bit and quite gently. 
only holding the exterior edge and just rotating it as I stretch until I'm about the circumference that I want. In this case, it's about 10 inches. And then I'm good to go. Okay, so there it is. Five tips for shaping great pizza. And just a review, go slow. Don't try and press that dough into shape before it's ready. Let it relax and then proceed. Number two, push, don't pull. Use your hands as paddles, working the dough most of the way to its form before you start yanking on it. Be gentle, push, don't pull. Step three, start with good flour. This double zero is a great example of a flour which has strength and tenderness. That's a great place to start. Number four, stick to the bench. Don't bring the dough up and try and juggle it or anything fancy like that. Just gently stretch it on the bench after the pressing portion. And step five, just flour and flip. So make sure that the dough is loose on the counter and then you pat it and turn it as you go. Five tips for shaping great pizza.